So this is how the brain senses changes in concentration. And now, how does the body correct those changes? Well, it does so in two ways. So the first way that the body corrects changes in concentration is by changing the amount of water that you drink. So it'll affect thirst. And how does this happen? Well, we already have an osmoreceptor here in the brain that's been activated by the change in concentration, so it just sends a signal to another nearby part of the brain that causes you to become more thirsty. And the second way that you correct your change in concentration is to change the amount of water that your kidneys are excreting. And the way that this works is that you have some osmoreceptor here in the hypothalamus that's been activated, and it actually secretes a hormone into circulation. So it secretes a hormone which is called anti-diuretic hormone. often abbreviated ADH. But it actually has many names. Sometimes instead of ADH, it's called vasopressin. Sometimes it's even called a third name, which is arginine vasopressin. Or even arginine vasopressin peptide, which can be abbreviated AVP. So it's kind of irritating there are so many names, but just try to remember that these are all the same thing. And you should know that these osmoreceptors projected down into this little part of the brain, which has a name as well. This is called the posterior pituitary. And it's a gland. We call it a gland because it secretes stuff. What does it secrete? Well, one of the things is this, ADH. So the posterior pituitary gland. So at the posterior pituitary gland, ADH is secreted into circulation. So let's put it in a little blood vessel there. And then it goes all the way through systemic circulation and eventually makes its way to the kidney. And that's where it has its effect to change water excretion. So these are all the details that you need to know. The overall picture here is the brain is sensing changes in concentration and then it's gonna correct them by changing your thirst and changing your water excretion. And to be a little more specific, let's say you had an increase in concentration. What's that gonna do? That's gonna cause a increase in thirst because you wanna take in more water to offset that concentration rise and a decrease in water excretion. And on the other hand, a decrease in concentration is going to cause a decrease in thirst so that you don't dilute your fluids even more and an increase in water excretion so that you can raise your concentration back to normal levels. Now the last thing I wanna mention, this video is getting long and intense, but ADH causes decreased water excretion. So when you have a rise in your concentration, you're gonna to wanna to reduce your water excretion and you do that by increasing your ADH. Whereas here, when you have a drop in concentration, you want to excrete more water, and you do that by secreting less ADH.